Hi, my name is Tomasz Papiernik. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the order approval process for the B2B accelerator. Here I have enabled the B2B Power Tools Store extension, which can be used with the B2B accelerator to showcase a reference B2B storefront. This fully functional storefront contains all of the sample data necessary to showcase the available B2B functionality, which includes order approval. The PowerTools extension provides us with a couple of reference customer organizations. Rustic Hardware is the one that I'm going to use for this demonstration. Here is a diagram that illustrates the approval hierarchy for Rustic Hardware. Only the relevant units and their associations are shown. I will log in to the PowerTools storefront as the B2B customer, Alejandro Navarro, who belongs to the Services East unit. I'll demonstrate how Alejandro has permissions to place an order up to $5,000, but once it goes over that amount, it requires approval. I log in to the PowerTools storefront as Alejandro Navarro. I'm going to add a few of one of these drills to my cart. You can see that the order total is a little over $1,700, which is less than Alejandro's $5,000 per order limit, and also less than the Services East Cost Center's weekly $2,500 budget. Now I'll go ahead and check out. You can see that when I select account payment as the payment type, it automatically populates the cost center as Services East for Alejandro. The shipping address here has also been automatically set to the address of the Services East approver, Ming Mei Wang. I will continue the checkout process and place my order. My order has been placed. Notice that my order status is created. If I go to my account, order history, I can see that the order I just placed is now in in process status. This means that I successfully placed an order that was automatically approved. Now let's look at the same scenario one more time, except this time I'll only purchase one of the products instead of two. The order total is less than Alejandro's $5,000 per order maximum. Let's see what happens after I check out. Notice that now the order status is pending approval. The order needs to be approved even though we didn't exceed Alejandro's order maximum. This is because with the two orders that he just placed, he exceeded the cost center's weekly budget of $2,500. Alejandro cannot approve the order himself, so the order gets escalated up to the next unit approver with sufficient permissions. Ming Mei Wang would have sufficient permissions to approve the order, but she also belongs to the Services East Cost Center, which has the budget limit of $2,500 per week, so she cannot approve this. This means that the approval goes further up the approval hierarchy to the next approver with sufficient permission to approve Alejandro's order that belongs to a unit with a larger budget. The approver that ends up with the order approval is Hannah Schmidt, who is assigned to the rustic top-level unit. I log in as Hannah Schmidt and go to her approval dashboard. Here I can see Alejandro's order waiting for approval. I'll go to the order and view the customer approval details. I decide to approve the order, so I click on Accept Order and optionally can provide a comment to Alejandro. Once Hannah Schmidt has approved the order, I can log back in as Alejandro to see how her approval affected the order. I go to the order history and I can see that the order status is now in process, which means Alejandro's order was approved. The B2B order approval process is a highly configurable process that is defined in an XML file. The last step in the sample process is the merchant credit limit check, where the organization credit limit assigned by an account manager is checked. Alejandro's order did not exceed any credit limit, so it was processed by default. Had it surpassed a credit threshold, the B2B merchant account manager would be notified. If the order surpassed the credit limit, the account manager would be required to provide approval. That concludes this demo.